What is going on Bold Nation? This is Lazable coming at you with another video. In today's video guys, we're going to be taking a look at the javelin known as the storm when we first got a glimpse at the game little was known about the storm but luckily now we know a lot of information in regards to the storm and we're going to be going over its abilities its gear and its ultimate attack and all that good stuff of where the storm actually comes from and what type of energy he harvests so the storm is one of the most predominant javelins in the whole world of anthem it is the only uh, javelin that is able to harness the power of the seals and this is where he gets his powerful because it's a, a technology that only he is able to kind of get a hold of now what makes this character very interesting is that with this kinetic energy that he has he's able to do a lot of amazing things a lot of people don't really know where he got this power from there's a couple rumors and speculations that he got where the planet where he got it from but not it's it's a type of energy that not anybody is able to wield but fortunately for us guys he was able to wield this and this gives us an awesome javelin to actually get our hands on now just like every single javelin guys within the game we're going to get started with its melee ability remember every javelin that's found in the game has its melee ability and the storm has one of the nicest abilities called the fiery strike what it does is he's able to harness the power of the seals and when he harvests the power of the seals, pushes out his arm, and his arm deals an explosive flash that deals a lot of damage. But on top of that, it also knocks the enemy back that have gotten really close to him. What this does, it gives him the ability to deal that power and also maneuver to a different area of the map. Because remember, the storm does not have too much health, so he's going to want to be moving as quickly as he possibly can. If someone gets close to him, he melees them, he pushes them back, deals the damage, and moves to a different position. Remember guys, the Storm is a type of character that you're going to want to make sure you master before you actually start playing with him, because he is one of the uh, hardest characters to master in the sense of how much health he has and how much damage he's able to push out. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Storm's gear abilities. Now the gear abilities are all abilities that are harnessed from the power of the seal. The only way he's able to do this is with this kinetic and kinesis energy that he's able to summon. And what makes this uh, advantageous is that he's able to put these in any situation that he arises. Uh, so remember, just like any other javelin, you're able to move these around, whether you're in the beginning of a mission, at the start of a mission, or you could just switch them off every time you want. You don't, you're not set to a specific ability. The following abilities he's able to use are the following. He's able to use Lightning Strike, Ice Storm, Flame Burst, Rhyme Blast, Living Flame. Those are the ones he's able to do. It's a total of five, and we're going to get started in breaking down each and every one of them. The first one is Lightning Strike, a targeted strike that deals lightning damage in an area. So think of this like if you're calling a bunch of lightning could drop down from the sky and you know, dealing damage to a large portion of area. The next one is Ice Storm. What this does, it creates a field of ice that deals damage and rapidly it's building to the final explosion of frost. So there's going to be a little piece of energy that you're able to summon and it's going to create a nice little field of ice and it will start dealing damage and then boom it explodes. Then we have flame burst, a quick explosion that deals fire damage at a target location. Then we have rhyme blast, fire out a flurry of ice projectiles that deal damage and freeze close range targets. This is by far one of my favorite abilities that he has because you're able to actually combo this after you freeze the enemy. Then we have Living Flame, a burst of flame energy that seeks out and ignites the target. This is another really good ability. I do like the fact that they went ahead and paired this with ice and kind of fire. So you're able to pick which one you want and which one suits you better when you're engaging battles. Now let's take a look at the Storms, Javelin's Focus Seals. Now what this one's do, these are quite interesting. We have the Horde Frost Shards, we have the Fireball, Ball Lightning, Glacial Beam, arc burst now these are really interesting guys in the sense of how you're going to be able to approach these because these are really cool the way they've actually done these so let's get started with the horde frost shards rapidly fire shards of ice that slowly frees a target in place this is self-explanatory it's a really useful one then we have fireball a versatile fire ability that can be fired quickly 
in small shots or you could charge it up for a large projectable explosion. But here is where things get a little bit interesting. We have ball lightning, a discharge of electrical energy that can bounce off walls to reach targets behind cover. This is going to be very interesting to use, especially when you're dealing with enemies that just like to hide as in the far back corners as they possibly can. Then we have Glacial Beam fires a beam of powerful ice energy into a targeted direction. This is going to primarily be the one you're going to be using for large amount of DPS on a boss or a high level arc target. Then we have Arc Burst unleashes a blast of lightning that will leap to nearby targets for heavy damage. There's actually another one that looks really interesting and can't wait to actually try this out because these sound really, really good. Out of all of these, the ones I'm really looking forward for are Arc Burst and of course the Ball Lightning which seems really, really interesting. But let me know in the comment section down below which one do you think it sounds more appealing for you to use. Now let's take a look at the Javelin support abilities. The support abilities are two. We have Wind Wall and we have the Nexus. Remember, these abilities are always not only to help you as a player, but also help your teammates to perform or be safeguarded in case they're in trouble. We have Wind Wall, which generates a defensive wall of wind that deflects incoming enemy projectiles. Then we have Nexus, which is creates a field which provides gear cooldown reduction to teammates who enter its radius. So this is going to give them a larger portion for them to use more of their abilities as opposed to them having to wait for the cooldown to happen, which makes it a very supportive class. And of course, guys, no Javelin would be complete without its ultimate ability. And the ultimate ability for the storm is the Elemental Storm. The Elemental Storm, it's a whole array of stuff, boys, because not only is he able to manipulate a whole set of assortments of energy, he's able to bring out Blast of Frost, Electricity, and Fire coming from all ways of life guys and all consummating into a one big blast of energy so he brings down fire he brings down frost electricity all the wazoo making it a massive destruction and a force to be reckoned with so if you're looking for a javelin that deals a massive amount of power and has exponential elemental energy all over then the storm is definitely one that you should definitely consider do keep in mind though it comes with a cost of minimal armor so you're going to be needing to be able to maneuver and work your way around the map to make sure you put him to his full maximum potential definitely the storm is definitely a character i'm extremely interested in but you have to be able to master him to get the best out of him don't forget guys if you want to stay up to date to everything anthem and if you want to check out my other videos in regards to the other javelins that you're able to use in the world of anthem make Make sure you click on the description down below or in the annotation towards the end. Don't forget guys to stay up to date to everything and to make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, and I will catch you guys on the next video.